So in this video, we're going to go through the Truma control panel. So this is the panel that controls your heating and hot water on gas and electric, and also the air conditioning if you've got it on your particular vehicle. So we press the button in the middle to wake it up. Above that solid horizontal line at the top, that's where it displays what it's currently doing. So there's nothing above that line at the moment that's saying nothing's turned on. Below the solid line, you have one, one icon flashing and you turn the knob, one clunk at a time moves it one position along, look, and that's how you select which thing you want to alter. So this one's heating, next one's hot water, next one's where you choose gas or electric or a combination of both, and the final one on that row is the fan, that's the speed of the fan that blows the heat out when you've got the heating on. So we'll go through it from left to right. We want to put the heating on, so we select it by turning it to make it flash and then pressing. It says it's off at the moment. We turn it clockwise. The lowest setting's five degrees, like an anti-frost setting. And then it goes up in one degree increments all the way to 30, and that's in degrees Celsius. So for this demonstration, we'll go with 25. Press to select, so I've put the heating on. So now we've turned something on, we've got symbols on the top above the line explaining what's happening but i'll go through that in a moment so ignore that for now we'll put some more things on next one along water heater so press to select and then you've got the options of eco hot or boost if you put it on eco it'll only heat the water up to 40 degrees if you put it on hot it'll heat it up to 60 degrees and then it'll keep thermostatically kicking in and out to maintain that temperature so it's always ready at 60 degrees for you if you put it on boost, it'll heat it up as quickly as it possibly can. It'll keep it at full temperature for, six, for 40 minutes and then it'll revert back to its previous setting. So if you had it on economy, for example, you had it on eco and then you selected boost and put it on boost, it'll heat it up to 60 as quickly as it can, keep it there for 40 minutes and then revert back to eco so it'll gradually cool back down to 40 normally you'd have it on hot because it only take about 20 minutes to heat up anyway so you would put it on hot next one's where you choose the power supply if you're on a hookup you can choose electricity but it's primarily a gas heater so it'll always work more eff effectively on gas but if you're on a hookup you don't want to use your gas you can put it on electric the options are gas which is just gas and that symbol of a gas bottle comes up at the top Mix one is gas and half mains power. So if you're on a little farm site or you're in France and you've only got a six amp hookup or something like that, you could do that and it won't trip the power out. The, sec the third option is electric two, that's full power mains. That's electric one is half power mains without any gas. Or you can have mixed two, which is full power mains and gas all at the same time. Or mix one, which is full the half power mains and gas together, depending on what's available. So uh, obviously if you're not on a hookup, you've got to go with gas. So we'll choose gas at the moment. And the final one on that row is the fan speed. And you can just pick economy or high. And that shows you one blade or two filled in. That's literally just how fast the fan blows. So it, how noisy it is and how quickly it's blowing. So that's it for the top row. So just to confirm, if we go along the top row now, from left to right, the flame is telling me that the heating's on. And it's flashing to tell me that it's on, but it's not up to temperature yet. So it'll be flashing. In this case, we've got it set to 25 degrees. So that flame will flash until we've reached 25 degrees and then it'll be solid instead of flashing and we know we've reached the temperature. The next symbol along is the water heater. Again, that's flashing, which means it's on, but it's not up to temperature yet. It's currently on the high with hot setting, which is 60 degrees. So when the water's at 60 degrees, that will be solid instead of flashing and I know the hot water's ready. Next one along is the gas bottle, showing me we're on gas. And then the final one on that row is the fan. It's got one blade filled in, so it's telling me that we're on economy. So that's how you can tell what's currently happening just by reading that top row. So now just a quick bit about the bottom row. If we scroll off the end, you go onto the bottom. 
this one's a timer so you can program a start time and a finish time if you want to so that it'll come on and off by itself the next one along's the clock that's just where you set the time so i'll do that now to show you you select the hour and then select the minutes and then press to confirm and that's it that's as easy as that to set the clock the last one on there is the spanner and that goes into the settings I'll have already have set your settings before you take delivery of your motorhome so you shouldn't have to interfere with that for the time being but if you're ever following in the instructions in the booklet and trying to change something and it asks you to go into the settings that's what it's referring to so you go to the spanner and select and it gives you this secondary menu but you don't need to go in there for the time being this other button's a return so if you press that it just goes back so it's like pressing the back arrow on your computer so anything you go into inadvertently you can come back out like that so that's the basic operations there's just an extra little bit that i want to go through in case you've got air conditioning if your van's got air conditioning fitted it'll be connected up through this panel as well so when you go to the heating one if you've got air conditioning fitted and you're plugged in the mains when you select that instead of it just coming on with a temperature it'll say the word heater and you can toggle backwards and forwards from ac to heater and select the one that you want to change so if you selected ac it'll give you a temperature but it'll be the air conditioning temperature if you select heater it'll be the temperature but it'll be the heating temperature and it works in exactly the same way the only other difference just to the right of the timer icon there'll be a picture of a ceiling light and again if you've got air conditioning and you're plugged in the mains that picture of the ceiling ceiling light you select and press it and it gives you a dimmer switch so there's light there's lights built into the air conditioning unit and you can turn those lights on and off and turn the dimmer up and down apart from that it works exactly the same as the panel on this particular van so that's it for the trimmer panel